Oh, wow. Okay. I didn't know this shit was going to be this fast. What in the world? You didn't tell me this was a time lapse. Okay, well, um, hello. It looks like, what is going, why is there so much going on? Okay, we're taking it off. Okay, okay. No. Mm-mm. Anywho, okay, we're digging a hole. I can see the hole. Okay. What's, what's, what goes in the hole? What, what's that going in the, what? Oh, okay. Oh, wow. This looks like something I've seen on Legacies. It's so crazy. Digging holes? Yeah, like, like it looks like you're about to put a body in there or something. Wow. <laughs> That's so cool. Anywho. Yeah, if they fall in this hole, how, how deep are these holes? That's so crazy. Wow. See the, the level? <laughs> you told me it's not a level R. I used to call it a level R. But anywho, okay. Wow, this is so much. Okay, this is the pouring concrete thing. Mm-hmm. I think so. I might be wrong, but I might be right. I don't know what this little what is this contraption they are doing to push temper. a temper. <laughs> it's a contraption. It's a contraption. So, okay, now I'm just here. Oh, they came back to dig more holes. Wow. This is so beyond me. What is going on here? Wow. <laughs> Y'all look like little ants. <laughs> just moving really fast. Mm-hmm. Let's move around this camera a lot. So, honestly... The concept of what is going on is so confusing to me. Um, I went into this blind, <laughs> so I don't know what is going on. And it's so interesting. Oh, yeah. They're digging more holes and putting more squares in the holes. Whatever that is. They're called forms. They're called forms, y'all. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Okay. All right. I told you. What is what is this? What is this? I told y'all it's concrete. Mm-hmm. I knew I wasn't tripping. But why all these squares? Like, it's going to be different patches of concrete? Yeah. Wow. Y'all see the, the concrete thing? It looked like a, um, what's that thing called? I don't know. That shoot, a cannon. That's what it looks like. It looks like a cannon. Ah, uh, imagine. Tee <laughs> So, they're pouring this concrete in there. And they're about to pour the concrete and do what they do. By the way, this day, after moving six tons of the damn concrete, me and my ex broke up. <laughs> Why would you tell me that? I'm, I, I mean... Yeah, you fucked up that day and after moving down them concrete, she wanna fuck it all here. Well, uh, that's your ex. Mic check one, two. Okay. We're still in this guy. So, mm, as y'all heard, he had a bad day after that. I had a bad day the whole day. He had a bad day the whole day. But, okay. So, it's just concrete, y'all. I mean, not everybody knows how to do it, because I know I don't. But look how perfect that looks. Wow. Okay, look at y'all being smart. Okay. Using using what you have to do what you got to do. Bye. No, it's longer. Oh, it's still longer. And, oh. Wow. What's going on here? Why is this video so long? I can't voice over this whole video. Why not? Because. Baby, I think it's playing again. No, it's not. Anyways. They're putting it back together. Baby, I have nothing else to say. Baby, you're supposed to be describing what you see. What do you see? I see y'all yeah, moving really fast, putting down the wood. 
So those are support beams. Okay. And support posts. That's what we're working on right now. They're working on support deans and support posts. And then we ran those joists. And then they were, we're putting down some deck boards. They're putting down awesome. some deck boards. Okay. Each one of those thick boards costs $150 a piece. Each one of those boards costs $150 a piece. Mm -hmm. A piece, y'all. There's literally no way. My man is a builder. Then I cut like four of them long and I had to come out my My man is a builder. I'm done, babe. What are we going to eat? Look at it. It's just not starting to get good. Maybe this video is six. How long? Seven minutes long. It hasn't been seven minutes yet? No. You're a horrible uh, voiceover person. Because you can't voice over something that's like... My girl told me too quickly, to and my so brain cannot go she, she accommodate all this. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna yes. just run out. Um, so basically, right mm, here, I don't really uh, like we, had, this. we had landed a, a, a concrete footer in the wrong spot, and so we had to like demo it so we could move them around. As you can see, like the footer was just a little bit too high, so I just went out there, and got that demoed out, so we could go ahead and re pour that concrete. Uh, when you do it wrong, you do it twice. You do it right, you do it like. Also, I'm trying to get a bit of my following on YouTube, so mm, I'm, I'm going to drop this on Facebook first. But if you guys are seeing this, um, I will drop a link underneath to my YouTube. But I'm just asking, you know, if you're seeing this and you already know, you can just go to my profile, you know. Hit that, hit that subscribe on my YouTube. It's my Facebook name, Bill Punyon. Bill Punyon on everything. Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, LinkedIn, all of those places. So we are, we got that thing. We got that footer uh, dealt with. We cut a new uh, support post for it. So it was actually three different footers that were in the wrong spot. So we had to cut all three of those different footers, cutting off the edge of that band. There's a jacuzzi going in on that pool right there. So... I mean, there's a jacuzzi going on that pad, so. Now, I want to try to, all of these intervals where I'm not talking filament with music, but every time I do that, I get a copyright claim, so can't even do that anymore. By the way, when I, whenever I said those boards cost one fifty, I was talking about the composite deck boards, not the, um, not the framing deck boards. I mean, not the frame boards, but the composite decking boards. Not any parts of the framing, but those are probably pretty expensive too. They're like fifty dollars a piece, and two by fours are like twenty dollars. Pressure treated, so. I guess she was right. Every single part of this can't get, um, can't really get a good decent voiceover. But mm -mm. Uh, maybe one day, one day I'll start to write a script and then it'll be good. But while we just doing it, it's not just good. 
So here we are framing the stairs. Knocking them out. Me, Quan, Chris. Yeah, see that palm nail? That is a great tool. I would encourage every independent contractor to get one. Always have a palm nail. That you, you get those nails in them spots. Just get them in there. They go right in. No problemo. Again, problem. As my Haitians would say. So this part was a little hard because we were trying not to have any of the um any any joints showing, but the deck was too long for that to happen. So you know there had to be a couple of joints on that end, but just on that end, and then besides that, there's no joints. So like when the customer walks on this first platform and keeps going walking straight, no joints. But to that right, right behind the um right behind that jacuzzi, they'll get a couple of joints back there. And another thing, if anybody knows any ideas for like selling merch, come come at me. No, come at me, cause I'd like to start selling them, but I don't have any ideas. And I was trying to work with a couple of guys to get a couple of products going, but I just don't have any ideas for good products right now. So I need some help with that. If anybody has ideas, come on, join the team. Um, you know, whatever we make, we'll split that. Uh, this small section, I know it's really fast. Basically, like I, I hate that it was recording the time lapse, but basically, whenever we put in screws on on the on those deck boards, on a composite deck board, like being this a high value deck, we want to have hidden screws. So they have these little um these little things that go right behind the screw, so that you never know where the screw. Went. Or like as far as like if you're a homeowner, you're working on your deck, you're not gonna see anywhere that screws around. So that's just like a little fancy option for a couple of people. That's when they had those other guys there. Now, this was something that I didn't understand. If they were going to have those guys pour that concrete, I don't understand why they didn't just pour the concrete for that jacuzzi and all of the footers that we needed because we moved, we moved a good bit of ton of concrete. So... But then I am working on that post. My cousin who was working for me at the time, he was that he was he was working on those couple of things right there. Cutting out a stair stringer. Mm, everybody be hating on my cuts. I don't know why. I don't know what I did. And yes, those were at a 45 degree angle. Then I had to get that to fit in there. All I did was just press it up against it, run a pencil on it, get that line, use a jigsaw, so I could, you know, curve it the way I wanted it to, slide it right in there to get that boom bop, perfect. Then I used a square to square off the end, cut that, boom, boom, guzzle, knock that out. You can put that in there, man. This is whenever I was straightening out the deck. So we straighten out one side to the side, to the way that we like it. And then we go to the other side and then just cut it off. So you'll see that happen. Straighten them all out. That one didn't, didn't get pushed in because if you can see, it's, there's that post right there. So those two had to just be cut, which is fine.
So we're cutting off the edge. Cutting off, the, well, I'm about to, I'm prepping to cut off this edge. I'm cutting off this edge. Coming to cut off this edge and I think I got distracted. Oh, I just didn't record it. Uh, excuse me. Yeah, so at this point, like the project's pretty much wrapped up. The deck is built. We're just putting up the handrail. We have like a whole custom handrail system that like we normally try to promote and sell, but the customer just didn't want it. So we went ahead with the um, two by two pickets. And I mean, even with that, we make it look really nice too. So and there you guys go with that. Putting in the top cap and hitting in that corner, making sure it's a perfect 45, making sure everything is nice and level. Rip a kerf down the piece of that wood. That's what I'm doing right there. Flip it, cut that 45 in there, and then we're down, we're ready for business. Set Quan up to cut to set that post in there. And from there, boom, boom, boom. Look at that. That's the side angle. I'm gonna give you our angle from the top. An angle from the customer's perspective walking out the, the back door and thank, thank you just like subscribe and comment